We put up plastic yesterday along the voice coop. One of y'all had suggested that it would help block a lot of the wind out. I don't know how they feel about it. They have not came out of their house since. They're very scared, so hopefully they'll come out. We'll see. We're gonna keep an eye on them, but yeah, they're quite scared of it. Why are y'all so scared, huh? So today we're going to be moving the sawmill. We have the new area pretty much set up where we want it to go. We're going to start by taking all the jacks down, moving our bricks out of the way, and get them moved. We also need to weld these on. <laughs> this is a Harbor Freight sawmill. But we built our own track and framing for it and added wheels and basically turned it into a trailer. By doing this, we're able to move it and make it portable so we can change its location. It's really thick steel, okay? I didn't finish drilling the hole. We welded these hooks on that we actually cut off from the house whenever we were cutting the walls out and stuff. They have these little hooks along the walls. So we cut those out and welded them onto the sawmill. That way we could use it to tie the saw down to the frame whenever we're moving. Now that we got her where we want her, we're gonna start leveling it out. And you basically level it out the same way you would level out a camper. So you're gonna start with your two axle wheels and make sure that they're level from side to side. You're gonna bring your tongue up. Well, I guess we'll go through that when we do it. So now we have a level completely perfect from left to right, side to side. So now we just need to bring, bring the front up a little bit. That way it's level from front to back. While we do this, we're gonna make sure we do equal amount of turns on each side for each jack. That way they stay level the whole way. About to leave, already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions, we'll get away, this is what we Do y'all see that the dogs broke off all of the lights on the stairs where Maya is laying? Yeah, those are three missing. Oh well, they were like five bucks. I'm done living life with the lights out, down with my own doubt. Be free with me. Be free. Be free with me. The bed frame that I ordered finally came in the mail, so I think we are going to put it together. It's great. I had such a hard time finding a bed frame. I wanted storage on both the headboard and underneath, but I didn't want it to look like one of those back in 2008 softer mom headboards. 
I didn't want one of those. I didn't want one of them big ones with all the storage and bookshelves. I didn't want anything like that. And that's all that I sold. I found this one. I really like it. Our bed is extremely heavy. So we're going to try to do all of this within the vicinity and not remove it all out there. So we'll see how it goes. By the time this is done, we won't need either of our nightstands anymore. So I'm excited to get rid of those. Lights out, with my own doubt. Be free. Finally, we've been trying to log into Yellowstone this entire time. I can't find any instructions anywhere. Oh, okay. So I guess let's just start by taking everything out of the plastic and putting it on the floor. Okay. <laughs> Yay, just you kidding, found them. Anybody need a box spring? Just kidding. It's basically trash. It's oh, very yeah. old. It is trash. Cody's been trying to teach me how to use an axe properly and I'll definitely say it's not my strong suit and I'll be sticking to the wood splitter. Log mover is the very first project that I ever learned how to weld on. It came out really crappy and even broke. Cody and his friend Dylan actually fixed it and made it 20 times better and so I'm excited to see it in action and, and working finally. It's pretty much just a triangulated frame and then for the wheel post we have them angled out that way it's nice and stable when we're turning and we don't have to worry about it tipping itself over or anything like that. And then we welded a boat winch on the front of it for actually lifting the logs but I'll tell you after doing that. If I have to move a ton of logs, I'm gonna put an electric winch on this thing. Yeah, this log's a little bit too long for the mill, but I noticed it's a little hollow on that side, probably from it, from termites and whatnot getting to it. So uh, once we cut off the hollow end over there, it should be good to go.
So we do want to keep our logs off the ground for storage until we mill them. That way they're not absorbing moisture from the ground and rotting out and anything like that. And we're starting to build an area for that right over here. This log is going to end up going on the mill first and probably within a couple days. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it here on the ground next to the mill. I'm typically really good about making sure that the dogs are nowhere near the ducks, but I guess I left their coop door open and they somehow made it all the way from their house, past the dogs and into the pond. All I saw was just them flying over the dogs. Thankfully they're okay. We will not make this mistake again, but yeah. Now they're enjoying a nice little swim and Cody's trying to catch them. <laughs> And this is what typically happens. <laughs> Come on boys, it's time. You had your fun. <laughs> Did you have fun? Was it a good time? I'm glad. Fred, George, I cannot believe you did that and survived. That is wild. What a story to tell. <laughs> All right, you have spinach, clean water, you escape the dogs. Are y'all good now? Was that enough excitement for the day? <laughs> Except more spinach, please. Thank you for not killing my ducks. You too, thank you for not killing my ducks. That was your golden opportunity. You missed it. She said, don't remind me. <laughs> We're going to get a Christmas tree, I'm so excited. Are you so excited? Yes, let's go get a tree. Okay. They literally close in an hour. And they're half an hour away. I haven't been feeling well the past couple days, so Cody's been mostly just working on the sawmill, getting everything ready and leveled out so we can start knocking out some wood. Since I haven't been feeling the best, I really want to change our sheets and our new ones finally came in the mail, so let's see how they turn out. I absolutely love the green and how it came out. I'm going to be looking for throw pillows and maybe a throw blanket, bring in some deeper greens, but I'm loving how everything is looking. Hi honey. Yeah. 
What you working on? Uh, just trying to get the foundation level for this wood drawing area. <laughs> it's so close. Really, there's so many dynamics that go to this. It really doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to be. All right, I got the first brick level. Only issue is we're gonna have to go buy two more. <laughs> So this whole thing is going to be 16 feet long by four feet wide. The way we're going to do this is we're going to have cinder blocks spaced out every four feet. So we'll have two, four, six, eight, ten in total. Like I said, we need to go pick up two more. But after uh, we get that and then get all the bricks themselves leveled, we're going to take some four by four that we're going to mill a little bit later. A four by four post and just lay them out horizontally going that way. And then we'll take our thick cut wood, like our two inch wood, and lay that as a base on top. That way it's already nice and straight by itself because it's so thick and sturdy. And then we'll lay our uh, siding wood on top of that for it to dry. So are you telling me that we have to go to the store? Yes. Okay. Unfortunately. But it's only two bricks, so we're only gonna spend like 10 bucks. Well, that's good at least. And the reason I decided to go with 16 feet long is because for the majority of projects, we're gonna be using eight foot long lumber. So that way we'll be able to have two sections of eight foot or one long 16 foot whenever we do need the larger lumber. Also, I was kind of thinking earlier that we're gonna need a lot of water here, being that it's lubrication for the mill. We need to wash off our, all the sawdust off our wood after we cut it and, and stuff like that. So I think I might dig a little pond over here in this clearing. I'm not sure yet though. Oh, okay. Just a little one, not anywhere near like that one. 10 or 20 feet across. Okay, whatever you want to do. Just something so we can have like one or two hundred gallons no, of water understand. up here to be able to That'll be good, use yeah. for the mill and can never have gravity too much water. feed to it. That way we don't have to constantly lug water up here or pump it up here. Yeah, can never have too much water. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the projects that we're working on in the next couple days. So I guess we need to do a supply run and I think he's going to build a ramp and some other stuff. So a lot of fun things happening on the sawmill area and that's going to make our life so much easier so that we can start working on actual projects with this wood. So. Yeah, I'm trying to get it as efficient as possible. That way we can start really pumping some wood out. It being kind of difficult to use and difficult to get logs on and all that just makes me not really want to use it and do all that work. So uh, making it easier will definitely uh, make it easier. Yeah, make it more efficient. Yeah. So. Alrighty. Bye. Bye. Dang, what a glow up from when we had them in the bathroom. Oh, I know, right? They're so big. I know. This one's getting some crazy colors on his head too. It's not just green anymore. Mm -mm. It's got like some orange and brown and... What's what do you up, think? Guy? What do you think? Oh, you're being so nice. Baby, don't you understand?